1982 D. Lincoln sent. The appearance of this penny may seem aged, heavily circulated, or environmentally damaged, however, its distinctive appeal is actually a result of a min error. This Lincoln cent was unintentionally or intentionally struck on an unplated planchet. The term unplated planchet refers to a blank coin disc that has not received the usual copper plating. Most Lincoln cents are composed of a copper plated zinc planchet, but in this case, it seems that the coin was struck on a planchet without the normal copper coating. This error penny is graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS and the slab label is signed by famous Bill Fivas, the variety expert from Cherry Picker's Guide. It was sold for $129.38 with buyer's fee on December 17, 2023. Number 7. 2012 D Shield Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 Red by PCGS. According Coin Grading Service, the 2012 D Lincoln Cents have the same Union Shield design that it's had in the two previous years from 2010 and 2011. This issue is very common in grades up to MS65. In MS66 grade, they become a bit scarce with some searching required. In MS67, they they are very difficult to find with few examples available. In MS68, it is the ultimate grade with very few examples known. This superb gem is glowing with coppery red, rose luster, fields are pristine, devices are tack sharp, just several marks prevent the finer grade. It was sold for $528. Number 6. 1980 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, this 1980 double die obverse is considered a very scarce variety despite having a very large mintage for this year. Though not as popular as other double dies in the series, such as the 1972, 1983, 1984 and 1995 double dies. Mainly due to the 1980 double die being scarce or therefore less popular. This variety is strong enough that it can be seen with the naked eye. It was sold for $600. Number 5. 2010 D Shield Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. The new 2010 Shield Scent design was first unveiled to the public on November 12, 2009. The U.S. Mint presented the new Shield design in a ceremony which took place at the Ulysses S. Grant Memorial in Washington, D.C. Denver Mint produced over 2 billion of them for 2010. Uncirculated and lustrous specimens are in abundance, but many of them come with bag marks, plating blisters and so on. Population gets thinner at Mint State 66 and above. PCGS reported 28 specimens in MS67 grade with just single finer. This superb gem fetched a sum of $990 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1995 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, fully struck with beautifully bright color, splendid cartwheel luster, and mark-free surfaces. A few faint striations on Lincoln's forehead, as struck, are all that separate this luscious superb gem from technical perfection. It was sold for $8,400. Number 3. 2004 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Reverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS with Die Variety designation of FS801. This superb gem radiate vibrant mint luster accompanied by pleasing cartwheel. Strike of reliefs are needle sharp. According to Variety Vista medium spread and extra thickness is seen on E Pluribus Unum and United States of America. But you'll probably need strong magnifying glass or digital microscope to spot the doubling. This superb gem ended up selling for $9,028.12 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1992 D Lincoln sent with close AM. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. A new design subtype was introduced in 1988. The letters AM in America were closely spaced. The subtype was intended only on proofs, but occasionally a close AM die would be diverted for commercial use. In 1992, both the Philadelphia and Denver facilities struck close AM scents. The 1992 D variety is rare. It was sold for $8,413.20. Number 1. 1991 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. The ultimate grade for registry set collectors. According to Coin Grading Service, just about anyone can own a 1991 D. Lincoln Cent as the Mint struck over 4 billion examples. Coins up to about MS67 condition are fairly common. 
In MS-68 they become much scarcer but for a small premium one can be obtained fairly easy. But in MS-69 condition or higher they are rare. Satiny copper red luster is visually flawless, complementing sharp devices and carbon-free surfaces on this one. It was sold for $11,400. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the fascinating world of collecting.